A big hundred from James Hildreth saw Somerset reach the end of day two in touching distance of victory against Hampshire. Somerset was 66 for one, 153 behind with nine wickets intact overnight. Triscothic and Myberg the not out batsman. Myberg started with a flourish. But Triscothic only added nine to his overnight total, caught Irvine off McLaren for 42, making Somerset 88 for two. It brought Myberg together with Hildreth, and the South African ploughed on, reaching his 50 as a solid partnership started to gel. Hildreth too was in commanding form at the crease and he raced to 50 off just 68 balls. After lunch the 31 year old was to hit the accelerator pedal, although the magnificent partnership between him and Myberg eventually came to an end with the South African dismissed just after getting to his century. Hildreth wasn't looking as though he was going to give up any chances however and he pushed on towards his century. Allenby was the new man at the crease and he and Hildreth put on a quick fire 53 before Allenby became the fourth wicket down, LBW to McLaren for 22. Peter Trigo offered a few overs support before falling to Crane, Irvine with the catch for five. 325 for five, Somerset's lead was already over 100 as Lewis Gregory joined Hildreth for the sixth wicket stand. Gregory made 18 before being trapped LBW by McLaren but in the very next over, Hildreth moved past 150 off the bowling of Berg, the second time that the veterans managed to score in excess of 150 in the championship this season. Craig Overton was the new man at the crease. His partnership with Hildreth was short, as the Somerset four fell for 152. Overton enjoyed a brisk knock with his brother Jamie before the latter was caught by Berg off best for eight, but it was the partnership with Ryan Davis, the keeper, that allowed Somerset to take control of the match. Three sixes from Davis and one from Overton in a partnership of 82 off just under 11 overs saw Somerset declare on 4-7-4 for eight. Hampshire started their second innings and at the end of the second over they were one down. Adams bowled by Gregory without scoring. Smith and Alsop managed to see out the remaining eight overs, closing on 18 for one, still 237 runs needed to make Somerset bat again and two days play remaining.